Hi. Sorry, I am having some problems with the microphone. Give me Hi. one second, please. Okay. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Thank God I could fix the problem. <laughs> Thank God. How are you? Can you hear me well? Yes. Yes. Good. Good. All right, thank you. I was so scared. <laughs> yes. All right, good evening, everybody. How is it going? It's going well? Yes. Nice. Great. I see today is... Tuesday? Tuesday. Uh -huh. Tuesday. Uh, 44? No, 24. 24. 24. That's right. All right. All right. 24th of May, right? May. Okay, okay. Yes, the twenty fourth of May, that's right. Okay. Let's get started. All right, one second, please. Oh here. Here we go. Mm hmm Okay, so this is the topic for today, how to use prepositions of place. And the day is May 24th, Tuesday, May 24th, and this is our video conference number 16. 16 yes okay the objective for today's class at the end of this session participants will be able to use prepositions of place and of course that's the topic and this is how we get started okay in the meantime we're gonna get the attendance yes we're having the attendance let me see I'm afraid I cannot show you this. So, Miss Norma, are you here? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. I'm you? good. Fine, thank you. Okay. All right. Miss Celia? Listen. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Claudia? Claudia, Maria, Guerrero. Not here yet. Concepción Marina. 
present. Okay. El Similagro. Present. Okay. Then we have Mr. Evermena. Not here. Iris Liliana. Present. Hey, good evening. Joanna Michelle. Good evening. Present. Good evening. All right, Juan Ramon. Has he gotten yet? No yet. Judith. And I mean, oh no, again it's absent. Carla? Present. Hi. Hi. Lisette and Marilis? Not here. Marcela? Marcela, Marcela? No. Here, here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I right. have a problem with my computer. Oh, yeah. I forget in the office. <laughs> but oh, really? with the cell phone. You are from yes. the cell phone. Oh my God. Yeah, I was having a problem with the microphone at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Mariana? Good evening. Hey, good evening. Jancy? Jancy, Jancy. Present. Hi. Hi. All right, Mirna. Present. Hello. Hello. Monica. Yes. Monica, Monica. Not here. Oh my God. Tanya. Not here. <laughs> and Raquel. And Raquel, not here tonight. Hola, soy Mónica, disculpe, voy entrando. Hi, Mónica, how are you? Hi. <laughs> thank you, Mónica, for letting me know. All right, thank you. All right, I got the attendance from Mónica already. Nice. Well, how was your day today? Raining? <laughs> rainy. Yes. Not rainy. rainy. I mean, no. I mean, no. No. Wow. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, as always. As yes. usual. Yes. More than usual. More than usual. <laughs> the sun. Really sunny. It was really sunny and really hot. Wow. In San Salvador, all day has rained. In the morning, when we woke up from about 6 until 11, it was raining. Well, from 5.30, probably. And then in the afternoon, it started raining again. All day, all day raining. All right. Ajá, <coughs> veamos, ¿quién ya chequeó el manual y qué hay que ver en la Unit 4 y última semana de este, <risa> de este Level 1? A ver, escríbanme algo en el chat que hayan visto qué es lo que vamos a ver, hagan el spoiler. <risa> spoiler en el chat, ajá, el que ya repasó, quien ya echó una ojeada. Quien ya dijo, ¿y qué vamos a ver en esta unidad? Sí, en el chat. A ver cuánto spoiler llega. Pero este spoiler positive. <laughs> Let's see. I'm waiting. I'm anxious. Ajá, addresses and places. Ya veo que sí está en el, en el partido. <laughs> All right, what else? Uh -huh. Nothing. Impossible. Usted los mata la curiosidad. Esa gana de aprender. Esa gana de saber que voy a estudiar, que voy a aprender en esta unit. Tell me, tell me. Tell me why. 
Ajá. Colors, full, places, Please. occupation. Location. Ajá, locations. Describe location that are. Ajá, ya voy llegando. Sí, ya encontraron el PDF. <ríe> Se le hace, yes, I did. <ríe> ah, estos trucos, ¿verdad? <ríe> ya los dichos ya no. Ya sabemos todo lo que sucede. <ríe> Ya lo estamos imprimiendo, ya lo estamos imprimiendo. Nice, positive adjectives. Ajá. Good. Bye. Ahora dejemos ya el spoiler. Ahora escríbanme de todos los lugares que hay en una city. Bank, park, university, school, church, shopping, malls, restaurant, hospital, de todos esos lugares que hay en la city. Tres de sus lugares favoritos. Favorite. <risa> Three favorite places. A ver por dónde va aquí el taste por la vagancia. Favorite. Favorite. Three favorite places in the city. Uh -huh. I have my choices already. <risa> Ajá. <risa> Nice. Uh -huh. Very good. Restaurants, malls, and parks. Great. Uh -huh. Park. Bank, church, and park. Starbucks. <laughs> Coffee stations. <laughs> okay. Hospital. Oh, nice. Because you love your occupation. Yes. Yes, I see. A sport palace. Oh, nice. Or jeans, right? That's great. Uh -huh. Había puesto bar. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Restaurant, the church. All right. Park. Yes, park actually is beautiful. La Gran Vía Mall. Yes. Uh -huh. Nadie ha puesto Beauty Salon. Dollar City Store. <laughs> That's everybody's favorite place ever. <laughs> Eso sí que vino a romper con todo el esquema. <laughs> nice. You're supposed to spend three dollars because you need only something from the other city and then you spend like twenty dollars <laughs> and things that we don't really need <laughs> yes but it's really really catchy yes we get there and we become crazy uh-huh cinema restaurants yes as nice places and when you talk about restaurants which are your favorite restaurants hi mr escalante Se había perdido. Hey, sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> blessed among women i give that bendito entre de las mujeres <laughs> the only man in class in no bien <laughs> Restaurants, oh, yeah, what type of restaurants do you like? Mexican restaurants, Chinese restaurants, typical food restaurants, uh -huh. Mexican food, exactly. Estamos escribiendo en el chat, Mr. Escalante, sus tres lugares favoritos en la ciudad. Restaurants, cinema, shopping malls, pharmacies, stores, en los ranchos. What is los ranchos? It's a restaurant. Yes. Ah, nice. Restaurant. Okay. Nice. Japanese restaurant. All right. Ah, nadie ha dicho uh, clothes stores or shoe stores. Bueno, los que dijeron shopping center mm. or shopping mall ya incluían todos esos tipos de stores, ¿verdad? Okay. Ajá, mm -hmm. uh -huh. restaurants. That Mexican food restaurants, salad restaurants. And bakeries for desserts, right? Mm, big temptation. 
<laughs> big temptation because when you go to a shopping mall and there are restaurants but there are also bakeries and there are so many these are jane beauty center wow that's incredible yeah it's nice uh-huh some people are very fit in here <laughs> But we don't see them on the camera. <laughs> so we don't know. <laughs> All right, nice. So this is what we're going to study today. We're going to talk about places, okay? And locations of places, of course. Let me see. Okay. This is the unit four. Yes. Let's share. Let me share the screen. Here I go. Here I go. All right, the unit four, address and places. It says you'll be able to describe the location of, okay, yeah, describe the location of mine and others workplace. So ask some classmates where they work and the location of it. Also mention where you work and its location. There is a map here. Listen to your teacher read the following places from the map. On wow. First Avenue, First Avenue goes from here all the way here. Give me one second. I need to get something. Yes, probably this is what like. Okay, so it goes from here all the way here is First Avenue. First Avenue. And this is? Mm -hmm. Mall. The mall. mall, yes. We can say shopping mall, shopping center. Yes, it's the mall. All right. We also have a bank. Mm -hmm. We also have a restaurant. a restaurant. On Barrio Street, we have Portland. Or palace, palace, and, uh, and school. 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 Between First and Second yeah. Avenue, we have park. 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 park, right? Yes, and on Second Avenue, we have the church and the city hall. And on Roosevelt Street, probably this is San Miguel, you know because of Barrio Street and Roosevelt Street. <laughs> I never been, oh, no. oh yes, I've been to San Miguel twice, but I only visited a Teatro Gaviria. Mm, you see, I know your place. And on this, <laughs> on this street, we have the Roosevelt Street, we have a restaurant, okay, a Rose Company, and Good World. Good World. Okay. Is there any of this uh, vocabulary that you don't understand? Uh, one question. Uh, what what does uh, it mean? Per, 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 church. Church. <laughs> church. 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 Ah. Church. When you go to pray. That's a church. And what the is city hall? What is the city hall? Any idea? In the city hall. Uh -huh. The city hall is la alcaldía. Oh, I can see. Yes, it's like the main office of the city, the city hall. So if you notice, it is very common that in the center or the downtown of a city, mainly, in Latin America, I'm not quite sure if it happens in other countries, but in in El Salvador, in Central America, yes. Como que en el centro de la ciudad, there's usually the church, the city hall, and a park, right? Mm -hmm. Probably the mall, it's like mother version of the stores or the other businesses, right? But there usually is a park, a church, and a city hall. 
and then the other business you know mall restaurants uh Market. pharmacies markets banks schools right but in the downtown usualmente usted va a un pueblo ya sabe que en el centro de la ciudad va a encontrar la iglesia el parque central la alcaldía so it's very common so probably that's why we have this map all right so ask ah, some classmates where they work in the location of it, okay? Obviously, we work in a different city because we have people from San Salvador, people from San Miguel, people from Gotera, people from Apopa, people from Santa Ana, Chalatenango, from different cities, from San Salvador, right? So where do you work? in the location for example you can say oh i work in a bank near near a coffee station or in across from or next to or you can say what on pueden decir on en que calle está ubicado sobre que calle on roosevelt street on juan pablo segundo street Oh, uh, Juan Pablo II is an avenue, right? In San Salvador. Yes. yes. Okay. So, you can say, como el nombre de la calle, el lugar donde, donde trabajan y donde está ubicado. Puede ser. That's why I say, ask some classmates where they work and the location of it. All right. Para hacerlo un poquito más formal, lo van a escribir en el chat. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So I work at, pueden decir el nombre de la compañía. It is on, dicen el nombre de la calle o de la avenida. It is on Main Street. It is on 2nd Avenue, San Miguel. It could be. Como mejor lo conozcan, puede ser. All right. All right. Okay, so I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the messages. Hmm? Uh, I work at... You work in a hospital, in a bank, in a company. In, I I getting... What is the name of the, of the designing company? Oh. Many people say they work in a company for design. Or a construction company as well. Mm -hmm. I had a question. Tell me. What is a route company? A rose company? A rose is como el nombre de la compañía. Oh. A Rose Company, como que digan Hilton Company. A Rose en realidad significa flechas. Pero es el nombre de la compañía. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. All right. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, uh -huh. I work at Koala's Travel. It is on Paseo de Nice. Near Galerías. Uh, yes. <laughs> you Mold. see, I'm very vaga in San Salvador. <laughs> Linda Morena. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. Esta so es señora. Uh -huh. <laughs> Comprando macetas. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But there are some good restaurants too. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the name of the of the bakery? Oh la la. Oh la la. Nice. I work. Oh my god, pero sé que se me pasaron los, los messages. I work at Ide Arte. It's on Third Avenue South in San Miguel. Nice. That is Marcela. Carla, I work in design in a design company in the Second Avenue in the Three Street near El Calvario Church. Nice. 
Wonderful. It's the same place. Yes. Uh -huh. I work at Idearte. It's on Avenue. Oh, no, falta el, el number ahí de la Avenue. South in San Miguel. I work at <laughs> Bricas. It is a street. Uh huh. In Nuevo Cuscatlán. Main Street in Nuevo Cuscatlán. Or the name of the street? No. I work in Concisa Company. It is on 5th November Street in WhatsApp. Wow, WhatsApp is beautiful. I love it. I grew up there. Mm -hmm. I work at Hospital Divina Providencia. It is in Colonia Miramonte. Really? That's the hospital that you work at? I went to that hospital about a month ago because there is a there is a there is a capilla right there is the chapel there is a chapel where monsignor romero was assassinated so a, a friend of mine offers una misa ahí because of her mom that passed away like a month ago Mm -hmm. All right, I, uh-huh, what else, what else, what else? Somebody else? No oh, more? Okay. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Hay un museo también dentro. There is a museum. Mm -hmm. <gasps> really? I didn't Donde know. Donde vivía Monseñor Romero. Romero. Mm -hmm. In his car, in his, in his furniture is there yeah. right yes sí, solo logré llegar hasta la hasta la chapel hasta la capilla ah, okay uh -huh. pero sí se ve el hospital mm -hmm. pero está súper yeah. escondido i never imagined that it was there <laughs> yes i was impressed actually i was looking in google map mm -hmm. uh -huh. no pues está. yes all right I work at Colegio San Jerónimo. It is in WhatsApp. Oh, it is in a pop. I'm sorry. I thought San Jerónimo was in WhatsApp, but it's in a pop. Nice. What else? Somebody else? No more. Okay. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿quién no se ha reportado? <laughs> Who hasn't written the address? All right, I work at a bank, IT, it is on the 49th Avenue in San Salvador. Nice. So en la 49, miss. En la 49 yes. Avenue. 49. Near the stadium. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. The Cusco Plan um, Stadium or the the Magico Gonzalez Stadium? Como, perdón, mis, como se dice contigo a la contigo a la gasolinera por decir algo. Next to the gas station. Oh. Next to the gas station. Next, Next to the gas station. The exact gas station. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And the forty nine, the forty nine Avenue is very famous in San Salvador. I work at Avogados Express. It is on Carretera de Oro. Really? On, on Gold Street. <laughs> 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 I work at Banco de Fomento in Jose Simon Cañas, San Miguel. So Jose Simon Cañas is the name of the street. Yes? Um, avenida. It's an avenue. Avenue. Okay, so on uh, Jose Simon Cañas Avenue in San Miguel. Yes. Nice. Si se fijan, ustedes mismos pueden deducir que ya están usando las prepositions of place. <laughs> okay. I work. At Abogados Express, it is on Paseo Venecia, Italiano. It is on kilometer 21, Carretera de Oro, Cepango, San Salvador. Wow, that's very specific, Miss Mirna. That's nice. 
Ajá. se me fue el italiano. <risa> ¿Qué tiene que ver el italiano? No se llama así, pasó a Venecia. Only. Un kilómetro 21. All right. Ah. Uh, so just, just pasé a Venecia, probably. Ok, good. I'm working bittersweet. It is in Santa Elena Boulevard Shopping Center. Oh, in Santa Elena Shopping Center. 112 next to Avon, La Libertad. Oh, there is an Avon store? I didn't know. Bittersweet. No. It's, uh, creo que es como call center. Ah, es a call center. Por la embajada americana. Mm, ok, near the American embassy. Near, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nice. Ok, great. All right, everybody participated in the chat? Yes. Bye. Recap, recapitulando. Okay, the first person says I work at Koala's Travel. It is on paseo. <laughs> on is the preposition. Cuando mencionamos una calle, una avenida, usamos on. Está sobre esa calle o sobre esa avenida. Yes? Eso ya es una preposition de lugar, of place. Okay. I work at Idearte. Uh -huh. It is on 3rd Avenue or Taos Avenue. In San Miguel. In San Miguel. Cuando usamos una city, San Miguel, San Salvador, Santa Ana, Apopa, usamos la preposición in porque es una ciudad grande. Entonces no es un punto tan específico. Le decimos in San Salvador, in San Miguel. ¿Yes? También cuando mencionamos países. In El Salvador, in Guatemala. ¿Yes? Bye. Uh -huh. At, si se fijan, ustedes dicen, I work at, y de arte. I work at a design company. Uh -huh. And Second Avenue and Third Street near El Calvario. Near es también una preposición que es de distancia, está cerca de. Near the stadium, near the church. Yes? Nice, perfect. Okay. All right. Uh huh. That's great. All right. Let's move. Use the map to answer these questions. Vamos a resolver estas tres preguntas básicas sobre el mapa que tenemos acá. Which street is near? So, which street is the restaurant on? Sorry. In qué street is the restaurant? Which street is the city hall on? En qué calle también está el city hall? In which street is the park on? Sobre qué calle? Eso es lo que te están preguntando. Which street is the restaurant on? ¿Sobre qué calle está el restaurant? Uh -huh. um, Roosevelt on, Street. On, Ro on Roosevelt yeah. Street and... First Avenue. First, First Avenue. Avenue. First Avenue. Avenue. Exacto. Entonces, si usted llega justo a ese cruce donde se intercepta, right? The Roosevelt Street and the First Avenue, ahí va a haber el restaurant. O oh, sí, o oh, sí. <laughs> of course, if you're walking or if you're driving. So you say, oh, the restaurant is on First Avenue in Roosevelt Street. Yes? Or, the, obviously, se va subiendo acá. So it says, oh, the restaurant is on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yes? So, depende, obviamente, se puede venir por acá. Se puede venir por acá. Si usted vive por acá, obviamente va a tomar esta, pero si vive por acá, va a tomar esta calle. <risa> Esto también es bien relativo en los mapas. O no hay una sola forma de llegar. Eso también puede pasar. Usted dice, ¿y por qué te fuiste a dar la gran vuelta? <risa> Quería pasear. <risa> right? Ok. The next question. Ya escribió la respuesta. No yet. 
Yes. I, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Answers on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Pero the restaurant? Yes, the restaurant. Uh -huh. Tendríamos que poner on antes de la dirección. Yes. O como sería la forma correcta de contestar. The o restaurant sea, yo sé que Street is on. Is on. Uh -huh. Ok. Y de ahí cualquiera de las dos. O Roosevelt Street and First Avenue or on First Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Cualquiera de las dos que ponga primero está. Either or. Voy a dejar aquí los puntos. Ok. <laughs> Which street is the city hall on? Is on. Mm -hmm. City Hall. Roosevelt Street. The City it's Hall on is on Roosevelt Street, Street and and Second Avenue. Exactly. The City Hall is on mm -hmm, on Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. And the park. Y que hay del park. No sé si pasa por la barrio, paso por la Roosevelt, paso por la primera avenida, paso por la segunda, igual llego al parque. <ríe> sí. Ajá. ¿Qué sería lo más indicado acá? Between. In the middle of the city. Between, between the of the city. <laughs> it's all the blocks. <laughs> yes, actually, podría ser. It's, pero lo que más usualmente la gente dice es como la entrada principal. Entonces, que, supongamos que la entrada principal está on Second Avenue. So, the park is on Second Avenue. Porque no vamos a mencionar las cuatro calles. It's on Second Avenue, Barrow Street, Roosevelt Street, and First Avenue. Sería como lo más indicado. The park is on Second Avenue. Suponiendo que ahí está la entrada principal. Uh -huh. yes. C city. Central City. No, no podría ser. It's in no. the center of the city. To be. Uh -huh. That could be. All right. All right. These people. <laughs> Bye. Aquí tenemos las explanations de las prepositions. Again, ¿cuál es más general para ustedes? In or on? In. In, ¿verdad? Porque están dando extensiones más grandes. In El Salvador, estoy hablando de todo un país. In San Salvador, I'm talking about a city. In the park, maybe the park is big. For example, ¿quiénes tienen una idea del parque bicentenario? It's a big place. Usted dice, ay, que ahí tengo un negocio in the park. Pero es para encontrarlo, hasta dónde en el parque, right? So, in the neighborhood. Imagínense que su vecindario también es bien grande. So, in the neighborhood. But on, lo voy a usar generalmente, como ya había mencionado, on 4th Avenue, on the corner, on the street. Generalmente es avenue and street, es on. On the corner es como una preposición para decir en la esquina, sobre la esquina de. And at, cuando os digo como espacios más pequeños, más específicos. At the meeting room. Seguramente el lugar de trabajo donde ustedes están tiene cafeteria, tiene reception. Tiene offices, tiene diferentes oficinas, diferentes áreas, pero si usted le dice, where is the meeting? ¿Dónde va a ser la reunión? At the meeting room. 
Yo estoy dando el lugar específico en esa sala. Yes. No va a ser a the conference room. No va a ser a the cafeteria. Yes. No va a ser a the lobby. Sino a the meeting room. Ok. At work. Esa es una expresión ya así fija en el trabajo. At work. At the bank. Eso es como también por decir algo. At, the, at school. Sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. So you say at the bank, at school. Son las... No All right, I'm back. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> alive, alive, alive. Give me one second. I just need to connect the computer because it's about to die. This battery is not lasting very long. All right. All right. So, tomando en cuenta lo de las prepositions, hay que mantener eso como en perspective, ¿verdad? Vamos a resolver este exercise. I'm going to get some groups. Les comparto screenshot en caso de que no tengan. En caso de que tengan PDF, pueden hasta compartir pantalla y resolver. Y, you know. ¿Ok? Ok. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Veamos los groups. We're going to make five groups. Creo que me va a quedar como de three. Yes. Five groups. Yes. Two groups of, out of four and three groups out of three. Here we go. Ya lo mandó. Ahorita, ahorita lo mandó. Entonces iniciando. I go in the band it sería on first, ¿verdad? Yeah. On. On first avenue. First avenue. La número dos dice The factory is located Sería In, in la libertad In, in la libertad uh -huh. en La tercera We see to Try es ya at. A train A train room all. Creo que sería también At en la segunda Siempre de la tercera. Uh -huh. Porque es en algo específico. Ajá, algo específico, cafetera y el otro. Cafetería, ¿verdad? En el uh -huh. cuarto, cafetería. La cuatro. La cuatro dice... An award in the company that is in town. 
Is. Ay, no sé qué es. Is on. Is on. Is on. 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 Down, down. Oh, no. Number three. We see you. We see you. We see you. Sería <laughs> <laughs> a training room or in. I or... think. No. I think uh, on training room or in the cafeteria. We see. <laughs> I, I have. Oh, uh, Marcelo, what do you think? I think is on training room or no, oh, yes, it's okay. Or we see on... you in training room or on the cafeteria. Or on. Yeah. What? Mm. Um, teacher, I have, I have a question. <laughs> Tell me. Um, the number three mm -hmm. serían dos veces at. Repeat the sentence, please. Uh, so we, see, we see you at the training room or at the cafeteria. Okay. At the training room or at the cafeteria? Yes. Sounds correct. Thank you. All right. Teacher, yes, I have a question. Uh, number six. Mm -hmm. Um, dice, tell him that where we are mm -hmm. at the meeting room. At the meeting room. Entonces, ya está el at. The, okay, that we are at the meeting room. Mm -hmm. With ya everybody, está. yes. <laughs> Ahí está resuelto. <laughs> Oops. Oops. There's a mistake. <laughs> There's a flaw. Te le paso. <laughs> ya, ya automatically habían escrito el at. No problem. It's, it's solved. You finished already? Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Continue practicing English about your work. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Eh, pero no. Okay. Ahí sí no sabría. Y ad sería para los tiempos. Ad, ad. Por eso le decía que podría ser in. In de cafetería. Ok. Pero no sé. Okay. Lo dejamos okay. así entonces. <ríe> We see you at training room or in the cafeteria. Yes or no. <ríe> Respuesta definitiva. <ríe> Vaya, pongámoslo cada uno ahí en esa número tres. Como consideremos, a ver qué tal. Yo diría que es app también, pero a ver. Y en realidad, digo, de Street. Entonces sería on, ¿verdad? Bien, la six, la six. Ella parece que ellos están en una reunión, ¿verdad? Sería entonces algo, algo este específico. 
Las seis es algo específico. Eso sería at. Uh -huh. At pienso yo, pero. Pero sí, porque es que alguien that we, we were doblemente at. A ver, permítame. En, en la reunión de la sala. Voy a... A los niños no les pedí que propusiste. Ah, es que ya está ahí también. Y la Ajá, sí. Dile que estamos en la sala. No sé nada, pero Pero en este caso, estamos sería en, porque uh -huh. estamos en, en la reunión, sería entonces y. All right, done, finished. Let's compare, finished, awesome. Let's compare the answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, I work in the bank that is on First Avenue. Exactly, on First Avenue and Barrio Street. And Barrio Street. The factory is located in La Libertad. In, in La Libertad. Libertad. Because it's the city, right? Yes. Uh -huh. We see you at... at Training. A training room or training at room. the cafeteria. Or at the cafeteria. All right. Anna works in the company that is in town. In town. In town, in town es como en la ciudad. In town es otra es otra palabra que se puede usar para city o el, la localidad, la, la, el pueblo, can be. So my relatives go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt Street. And tell him that we are. Ajá. Ahí tenemos dudas. <laughs> Ahí se preocuparon sí, sí. todos. It's okay, yes. <laughs> ya está, porque aquí está el ad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ya les habían resuelto ahí mm -hmm. la situación. Mm -hmm. Se fue. Ajá, <laughs> se fue antes del el printing. <laughs> Tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. <laughs> yes. Done? Done. Done. Great. Okay. Let me quitar este cursor de acá. 
create your own map with your workplace and its place, building in other surrounding, show and explain your map to other partners. Sí. Tenemos que crear el mapa aquí donde trabajan. No quieren que no lo van a hacer, no <risa> Ahorita el plano. <risa> no, hay un arquitecto. <risa> there is an architect in the class, true. Oh, well, there are uh -huh. some architects. No. <risa> ok, it's all right, no problems. Just explain. I work at this company on Avenue or Street in the city. Yes? Entonces so, se lo van a contar a su partner. Ahora, ya con esta idea, podría ser, I work at, y dan el nombre de la company. On, y dan el lugar, I mean, la, la calle o la avenida. In, y dan la ciudad. Is that clear? Exacto. Lo vuelvo a repetir. Please. I work at, y dan el nombre de la company. Como lo hicieron Parecido a lo que hicieron en el chat. Solo mm -hmm. que ahí no teníamos como un esqueleto, digamos. I work at, el nombre de la company. On, el nombre de la calle o de la avenida. In, la ciudad. Mm -hmm. ¿Un ejemplo? Yes. ¿Un ejemplo could be? Eh, I work at Color Travel on eh, Paseo General Escalón en eh, El Salvador. San in Salvador, in Salvador. San Salvador, El Salvador. That could be. So, repeating, I work at Koala Travel on Paseo General Escalón en San Salvador. Yes? Yes. yes. Eso le van a contar de entradita. Después usted le puede hacer más questions. Cuando ya su partner le haya dicho eso, usted le puede decir, Oh, do you work in an office? Oh, do you work in a specific area? Oh, do you work on the first floor, on the second floor? Is your office in the first floor or on the second floor? Yes. Yo le puedo hacer como más preguntas más específicas en caso de que yo llegue a ese lugar donde la encuentro o donde lo encuentro. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is clear? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Practice, speak English, please, <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I work at Inversiones Brico, that is on Nuevo Cuscatlán Street, in Nuevo Cuscatlán. Nuevo Cuscatlán. At ah, Street, Nuevo Cuscatlán. Teacher, how do you say Calle Nuevo? Ah, okay. Teacher. ¿Cómo fue? Es yes, Calle, calle A Nuevo Cuscatlán. Ajá. Ah. Street 2 Nuevo Cuscatlán. Street 2. Yes. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. I work at Brico that is on Street, street 2. two. Nuevo Cuscatlán y... Uh -huh. That is the main street, ¿verdad? Se cuenta como la calle principal hacia Nuevo Cuscatlán. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Okay. I work at I I de Arte on the three avenues south, sur, and second avenue north. In San Miguel. Avenue. Avenue North. Three avenues South. 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 Yes. South. Third. South Avenue. 
and the second avenue. Uh -huh. In San And for say barrio. Barrio. Ah, barrio is like barrio. Neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Ah, neighborhood. Ah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Neighborhood. Okay. All right. And vamos a ver cuál era la otra. Do you, do you work? An oficina, oh no, office, an office, um, mall. Or oh, where is your office? It's near to the city hall. Entonces la pregunta podría ser, where is your office? Yes, it's possible. Yes, okay. where is your office? It's near the city hall. New city hall. Where's your office? Y para preguntar como... ¿Cómo se le diría? La ubicación, no, 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 la ubicación. Cuando usted comentó que estaba en second floor. Oh, in yes. First floor. Uh -huh. It could be, it's, that. puede ser yes, no question. Is your office on the first floor or on the second floor? Ah, mm -hmm. your... Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, how many levels do? Yes, how many that... floors does how many your... Floor? Yeah, your Office. building has. Your building has. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your office. There's... Marcela, how many floors does your office have? It's only one. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Elsie? And... First floor, first floor, no, ¿cómo es? Sí, sí ¿verdad? At yeah. the first floor. Just, it has just one floor or it's just on the first floor? And, no, and second floor. Tiene dos pisos y, yes, y estoy en has, el primer. It has two floors, but my office is on the first floor. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Two floors. My office is made of container, container, uh, container, containers. Yes, that's correct. Containers mm -hmm. and I am in the second floor. On the second floor. On the second floor. Mm -hmm. Second floor. Oh. Tu trabajo y, y, y cómo te encuentro. Tenemos que hacer esas preguntas, tenemos que formularlas. Ajá, es lo que le mencionaba, es que do you work in... Me preguntó a mí. What area? What area? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces yo le contesté que en todo el edificio, <risa> todo el edificio, porque se en el edificio. Ay, ah, por eso, pero sería, ¿cuál es la área en específica? ¿Administración? Uh, department, o... ad administración. Departamen administrativo, ¿cómo se dice? Administration. Administration Department, ¿verdad? Department. Department. Yes, Entonces, that's correct. I work, no, at work sería, vea. I work at. Sería an, at no, work. I work at. I work at. I work at. Uh -huh. Work at. In the administration department. Administration department. Okay. Mm -hmm. I go at administration department. Thank you. Okay. Thank 
Okay. Entonces, ahora preguntémosle a Concepción. Sería What is the question? When do you work in your company? In the department administration. Ay, si usted es la administradora, a ver. Uh -huh. Ya me acordé. <laughs> ok, y es Raquel. Raquel, when, when you work, Raquel, in your company? Uh, eh, production. Entonces usted tendría que decir, I work at in produce, production department. Department. I work at production in department. Department. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. Brico. Uh -huh. In Nuevo Cuscatlán. Uh, what is your area? <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice? Administration, but is the ubicación in in the office. Eh, ¿A dónde está ubicada la oficina? Mm -hmm. eh, eh, On the street, leave 12. Mm -hmm. En la calle 12. The street 12. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, eso. Es que sí, solo así es, leave 12. On the street 12, entonces. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahora pregúntenme. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, where are you work? I work in the art in Paco de Fomento. E S T F O S E S S Okay, S T West 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 And there, there, West, there. West, West, West Street in San Miguel. Mm -hmm. Third, there. Third. Third. <laughs> Third. Third, West Street in San Miguel. Sí, así es. Y sería your, your address is what at Colegio San Jerónimo on Principal Street. Oh, perdón, perdón. At Colegio San Jerónimo on North First Avenue, Main Street in Apopa, San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Sería. Yes. Yes. The <laughs> uh, eh, school. Do you have second? No sé, segunda planta. Oh, do oh. you have a cafeteria? Yes. The school. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> Um. Este es una pregunta. Este solo íbamos a hacer lo que era solo nuestro trabajo o íbamos a responder las otras preguntas. 
o esas son las mismas que habíamos, que habíamos estado haciendo anteriormente. Sí, Berta. Quizás yo estoy viendo un cuadro. All right, done. Did done. you ask other questions? <laughs> what other questions do you ask? Uh -huh. Examples of other questions that you ask in the conversations. Where, do, where is your mm -hmm. office? Where is your office? Uh -huh. How many floor? How many floors are there in your building? Uh -huh. Up there. Or how many how many floors does the building have? Can be also a possibility. Uh -huh. Is there a park near your office? Is there any restaurant? Is your office near a park or near a church? Can be, right? Near a church. Mm -hmm. That's another possibility. All right. Let's see. Do you mm. remember your partner's information about the workplace of your partner? A little information. Yes. Do you still okay. remember? Claudia, who was your partner? Micrófono. La que tenía yo. No escucharon todo mi inglés. Sorry. My partners were Marcela en el Similagro. All right. Tell me about Marcela. Eh, Marcela's office is in eh, San Miguel in next to the city hall <laughs> and he was in <laughs> uh, uh, always have been an uh, office it has always been an office so it's in San Miguel near the city hall or next to the city hall nice so it is in in the center of the city in San Miguel right Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you go to somewhere, you can go to visit Marcela. Okay. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Claudia. Claps. Good information. Useful information. Exactly. All right. Let's see. Miss Celia, who was your partner? Yo, todo lo que. Lo que. Estamos Juan and Iris. Okay, tell me about Mr. Escalante. Uh, he works in Concierza. He is at, he works at Corsisa mm -hmm. in Guasapa, no Guasapa, uh, at local eight and Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, is that a is that a shopping mall? Yes, it's shopping mall. Really? I didn't know WhatsApp has shopping malls. I, I think. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it is in the local number eight. Uh -huh. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Mr. Escalante, what about you? 
Señor, ah. sí, 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 It is, uh, she works in Brickle, mm -hmm. in Nuevo Cuscatlán, on 12th Street. Mm, yes. Just That's that. it. <laughs> is that true, Miss Ellie? Uh, yes. No, it is. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. No, at last I worry. Yes. 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 Yeah. I say, well, you. No, Celia, Celia, Celia works in, in, at Idearte. Ah, in yeah, San Miguel. In San Miguel, that's right. And Idearte is near the, the town or near the center of the, of the city, like near the downtown? Or it's is near the downtown? Oh, nice. So that's awesome. Let's see. Milaro, tell me about one of your partners. Um, Claudia, uh, her uh, office is mid container and second floor uh, in Nuevo Cuscatlán. Nice. That's great. On the street, Calle Nuevo Cuscatlán. Yeah, it's on the main street of Nuevo Cuscatlán. That can be possible. All right, hey. Miss Mirna. Hello. Hello. Who is your partner? Norma. Uh -huh. uh, she works at Bank on 49 Avenue. Is in San Salvador. San Salvador. In San Salvador. That's right. That's very good. Uh huh. Miss Norma. Uh huh. <laughs> Miss Norma. Are you here? Or maybe she went to drink water. Hello, I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey. <laughs> Did you go to the kitchen? <laughs> no, I told you the in Miss Concepcion. She worked in the the mall, the Venecia, uh -huh. in 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 soya pan, soya pango. Is it is from the Carretera de Oro. Yes, it's on the Carretera de Oro. Yes. Nice. In Soyapango, right? In Soyapango, okay. That's great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mariana. Hello. Hi. Um, With your partner. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yes, my partner is Carla. No, mm -hmm. my partner are Carla and Tania. Uh -huh. uh, Carla uh, Edres is work at Idearte on Second Avenue and there with a street in San Miguel. Mm -hmm. And Tania Ed, Edres is were at Colegio San Jerónimo mm -hmm. on North Pierce Avenue, Main Street in Apo. Nice, that's wonderful. Okay. Who has you participated? Monica. <laughs> Hi, Monica. Hi. Who was your partner? I don't see the names. Please. <laughs> Monica. We almost finished and you don't know your partner's names. What happened? I think it was... 
Celia. Mm -hmm. Who was working with Monica? Uh huh. We are in trouble. Miss Judith, what you working with Monica? Sí, yes. All right, Monica. So it was Judith. Mm -hmm. Y Joanna, creo. And Joanna. All right, Joanna, were you working with Monica? Yes. All right. Nice. So you tell me about Joanna or about Judith? About Judith. All right. Go ahead. And you work in Colegio San Jerónimo? Mm -hmm. And rice a popa. Uh -huh. a street. Um, Avenida Santa Rosa. Okay, Santa Rosa Avenue. On Santa Rosa Avenue. On Santa Rosa Avenue. Mm -hmm. That's it. Sí. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Ajá. Alguien que se nos haya quedado que quiera participar. Somebody, somebody, somebody else. Uh -huh. Carla, probably. <laughs> Um, uh, I work with Mariana and Tania. <laughs> no, that's correct. That's correct. Uh -huh. Oh, um, Mar Mariana and Tania is the work in the uh, same place. In Colegio San Jerónimo, on North First Avenue, Main Street in Apopa, and near a part of Apopa, from and from the pink house. <laughs> All right, nice. That's great. Awesome, a big description. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿quién más se nos quedó sin participar? Somebody else. Good job. Marina. Se nos fue Marina. <laughs> Where did she go? Nowhere. Okay. <laughs> Hemos conocido como algunos lugares nada más, ¿verdad? The park, the church. Pero, obviamente, en the cities tenemos muchos más lugares. Yes. ¿Y qué podemos hacer en estos lugares? Vamos a ver. Let me see. I'm going to show you. Oh, wait a second. Tomamos la tendencia la segunda vez. Yes or no. 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 Oh my God. No. Sorry. I'm so sorry. No. no. Norma. Yes. Celia. Yeah. Claudia. Is Claudia present, here? Present. Oh my God. Que no me You're me. Yes, then we have Elsie, Ever. Oh, ¿qué le está pasando a Ever? Iris, Joana. Joana se nos fue también. Juan Ramón. No se ha unido Lizette, ¿no? Tania. 
pues me pareció ver a Talia, ¿no? Present. Yes, right. Okay. And that's it. Right, Talia? And Raquel. Right. Here. Here. Nice. Great. And um, let me see. Yes, yeah, so far we have started. Let me see. One second, one second, please. Here we go. Bye, no he estado hablando de estos places, ¿verdad? Y que no son los únicos lugares que existen, les comentaba. Obviously, this is a matter of increasing the vocabulary. Esto se trata como de incorporando nuevo vocabulary, ¿ok? So, no como algunos, pero existen otros. Y ustedes lo mencionaban. Entonces, vamos a hacer como una little practice de vocabulary. Ajá. Yes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Veamos, number one. Kidding. Airport. Excellent. Air. Hagan así como air, air. Es como una E y una R, ¿verdad? Airport. Ok. Number two. ¿Qué sería number two? Baseball stadium. Ajá, baseball stadium. No necesariamente todos los stadiums son de baseball. ¿Qué otros podrían haber? Football stadium. Football stadium. Football stadium. Soccer stadium. The National Stadium. Tennis mm -hmm. stadium. Good thing. Number three. Concert hall. Concert hall. Concert hall es usualmente como un anfiteatro. Un lugar para concierto. ¿Qué pasa en nuestro país? Los concerts lo hacen en los estéreos porque son más grandes. Uh -huh. A diferencia de que ya no tenemos Cisco. <laughs> hospital like, Salvador. Exactly, we have a hospital in Salvador now. Pero ahí sí había un anfiteatro, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Que es como un concert hall. Mm. Ok. For? Courthouse. 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 Cor 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 Miss Elia, you are the expert. Juzgado sería. Uh -huh. Sí, porque si lo traducimos uh -huh. literalmente, usted dice a la casa de la, de la corte o de la justicia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, como un juzgado. Exactly. Number five. Flower shop. Flower shop. Ok, number six. Hardware store. store. Hardware store. Hardware store. Hardware store. Generalmente decimos. Ferretería, right? Ok. Or hardware también puede ser una tienda de, de electronics o cosas para computers. En caso de que lo queramos enfocar en este tipo de, de rubro. Seven. Ice cream shop. Eight. Motel. Motel. Este es como una, un tipo de hotel. Yes. In the United States, obviously, motel es como se paga una estadía, pero también tiene como para guardar su carro cuando la gente viaja de un estado a otro, right? So it's not como the connotation we have. Okay. <laughs> Number nine. Museum. 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 Right? Then. Parking garage. Parking garage. Parking garage. Generalmente esos están como en los downtowns o los centros de la ciudad donde todo es business, business o lugares uh, históricos y no hay donde parquearse. Entonces hacen como ese tipo de, de parking garage, right? O los shopping malls que ya los tienen incluidos. All right, number 11. Pet shop. Pet shop. Pet shop. Pet shop. Well. Playground. Playground. Playground es como los lugares para llevar a los niños a jugar. 
usually in the kindergarten there's a playground right in school there's a playground all right 13 choose a store choose a store mm -hmm. 14 Toy store. Toy, store. Toy, store. Toy store. And university. 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 All right. Hay algo de esto que quieren que repasemos? Algo que esté difficult to remember? The courthouse. Court. Courthouse. Court house. House. Mm -hmm. Any other? Two. Any other? Which one? Number two. Yes. Baseball stadium. Baseball. 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 Yes, David J. Guzman is a museum. 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 Y de hecho tenemos varios museums. Lo que pasa es que uno de repente no sabe. But there are many museums. Yes, there's Marte. Marte. Tim Marín. Tim Marín, okay. También el del ferrocarril. The Trias. The Pena de Sal. There's a museum. Yes. All right. Good. Which one? In Perkin. In Perkin, yes. There are museums of, of the civil world. Mm -hmm. Y tenemos algunos otros. <laughs> more. More and more. Mm -hmm. Yes. Veamos. Number one would be? Bakery. 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 Bacon. The delicious places where we get the dessert. <laughs> and then no, number yeah. two. Barber shop. Barber shop. Barber shop. Mm -hmm. Number three. Bookstore. Book 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 store. Book 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 store. Bookstore. Eso que se compran los books. Ok. Como la ceiba. So you go library. and exact library is el lugar donde vamos a prestar o vamos a leer ahí. Sería biblioteca. Exactly. Como la National Library. Que está under exactly. construction. No sé qué hicieron todo lo que había ahí en the National Library. Mm -hmm. En San Salvador, of course. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Pero it's gonna be beautiful. So when they finish the construction, you have to come and visit. <laughs> yes. Number four. Bus station. <laughs> Bus stations. Bus We're gonna station. make a, a reunion. Yes. Okay. Number five. Cafeteria. The cafeteria. Uh -huh. Of course, the cafeteria is not necessarily a business. It can be in in the in any place, actually, in the school, in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Yeah. Different the cafe. A cafe. A cafe can be a cafeteria. Actually, cafe is como la abreviación. Short for the cafeteria. Or, a menos que sea un coffee station. Como los lugares donde su especialidad es el coffee. Como Starbucks. Starbucks, right? That is coffee, Starbucks. You know, or Juan Valdez. So those are just coffee oh, stations. No. But a cafeteria so. can be a cafe. Mm -hmm. So six, we say clinic. Clinic. Uh -huh. Seven. Clinic. Department, department store. Department oh. store where you can oh, buy shoes, clothes, electronics, makeup. Como las tiendas por departamento, right? So big stores. Mm -hmm. Eight. Drug store. Drug store or pharmacy. It's possible. Pharmacy. Yes. Drug store or pharmacy. Nine. Care salon. Care salon. Yes. <laughs> All right. Ten. Health club. Health club. Okay. Or gym. All right, 11. 
Yes. Where you go and pay for doing the laundry. Here in El Salvador, it's not very common, right? Because we wash the clothes at home. <laughs> okay. 13. School. 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 14. Train station. Train station. Train station. Train station. Train station. Video, Video store. store. Video store. <laughs> Vamos a... Voy a enviar ambas láminas para que practiquen el vocabulary. Lo pueden practicar, decirlo. O pueden por lo menos decir una de las actividades que se hacen en cada uno de los lugares. An example. In a bakery. ¿Qué podríamos hacer in a bakery? Eat cake. I can eat a cake. I can eat a cake in a bakery. I can buy a cake. Yes. Uh -huh. I can make a, cake. make a cake. Well, probably in the barber shop. Good time. Uh -huh. You can uh -huh. get, get a haircut. You can get, yes, shave mustache. your mustache. Well, for the men, right? <laughs> Not for women. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. In the number three. Buy books. I find a book. Buy, book. buy a book. Yes, find an interesting book. Right. So this is the idea to practice the vocabulary. Okay. okay. So probably not everything is going to be possible. Para algunos seguramente va a ser difícil que encuentren una acción, una acción que es lo que hacen, pero it's okay. So you can go to the next one, but practice. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes, questions? No questions. No questions. No All right. Question. Good. Quiero ver, no le he abierto. Ok. Sí, está aquí. Bueno, entonces vamos a hacer correcciones, algo así, ¿verdad? Sí. Creo que vamos a decir una actividad que podemos hacer en cada lugar. Ok. ¿Quién empieza? Está difícil en airport es I can I go to plane. <laughs> plane. Uh -huh. I go uh -huh. to the travel. Uh -huh. I go to travel. Oh my God, I I buy ticket for the play. <laughs> uh -huh. I get up. Uh, I get up. I get up. For... Hmm. Oh, también esperar a un familiar sería como I wait. Wait. Ajá, uh -huh, wait es esperar. Uh -huh. Wait, eh, esperar. Oye, uh -huh. oh, yes, dice, I wait, wait in my family. Maja. Uh -huh. One in San eh, Salvador. I don't know. <laughs> I no. never see. Eh. Ah. Where is... <laughs> 
Near oh. to Feria Internacional. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, but I don't know the name. I, I, I don't remember the name. Teacher, do you know how is it called the baseball stadium in San Salvador? Mm, yes. Adolfo uh, Pinal? No, that is the... the that is Boston. Yes, it's basketball. Oh, no. Feria Internacional. The Torino Angola. Mm. The one that is across, yeah, across from Safeco, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I guess it's yeah. a Torino Angola. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, but there's a baseball stadium. <laughs> it's just next to Estado Mayor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see, but never. Never seen it. <laughs> never know the name. Yeah, yeah. true. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. In concert hall. Concert hall. In a concert hall. Teatro Nacional. Mm -hmm. In a concert that hall, place, we take a ticket for the. <laughs> mm. um, el dos, verdad? Mm -hmm. Baseball Stadium. Mm -hmm. um, Eh, eh, partidos, ¿cómo se dice partidos? Match, ¿Eh? ¿se podría decir? Match or games. Okay. Uh -huh. A soccer match, a baseball match, a baseball game. Baseball game. Uh -huh. Ajá, baseball game. Eso. Ahora Juan. Ok. Number three, concert hall. You can enjoy. House. Full house. Ah, full house. Sí, eso es como un hotel. No, es este. <risa> Pero no deja los juicios. Está juzgado. Ah, juzgado. la cara. Uh -huh. Entonces sería. Ay, jamás juicio. <ríe> Ay, no. Como poner proceso legal. Ajá. Podemos poner eso. I have a legal process. <ríe> yes, that's right. Or people uh -huh. have legal process in the courthouse. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Entonces sería people. Sí, es porque no necesariamente usted tiene que tener algo ahí en ese, en ese lugar. Entonces, en general, es people or you can, o sea, en caso de que usted necesitara. Mm -hmm. People have a. Have legal process. Legal process. Uh -huh. eh, eh. Y la falta la once de la once ah, y la quince. Es cierto. Sí, uh -huh. tiene razón. Va, vamos con la once entonces. Uh -huh. Pet shock. Pet, Pet shock. shock. Uh -huh. La Pet. doce es playground. 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 Ground. Así como ground. Uh -huh. ground. Como ground. Correcto. Uh -huh. Playground. Ground, algo así. Playground. Uh -huh. Playground. Bien. Vamos por la 13. Show, show store. No. Shoe store. Store. Shoe store. Shoes store. Shoe store. Store. Uh -huh. Shoe store. Store. Uh -huh. store. Vamos por la 14, perdón. Uh -huh. Toy Story. No, Toy Story. 
Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Store. Uh -huh. Store. Con R al final. Uh -huh. Store. Sí. Ah, Toy Store. store. Ajá, Toy Store. Uh -huh. Vamos por la última. Sí. sí. University. Es muy university. No, uni university. University. Y university. U university. Sí. Ahorita. U Bien, sería entonces, permítame. Vuelvo a llamar. Hotel number 10. Hotel club. Hotel. Ese no sé cómo se pronuncia. Laundromat. Laundromat. Small. Train station. Video store. A ver. Clap. Excellent. Ahora inicia normal. Vamos para mencionar las otras. Normal, okay. ya lo dice. Ajá. Vale, ya soy yo entonces. Hey, por Airboy. Mierda, number two. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice el primero? Basketball. Baseball. 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 Stadium. Baseball. Concert Hall. Concert House. No, workshop. Hardware Store. Ice Cream Shop. Motel. Mission. ¿Cómo se dice? Museum. 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 Parking garage. About the history. To learn about the history. To learn. To learn. Aprender. To learn. Parking garage. Parking garage. Ah, for example, a centro histórico. Centro histórico has parking garage. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Eh, hospital mm, ginecológico en Colonia Médica has a parking garage that is uh, many levels. Yes. 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 I, it's Pet shop. Pet mm. shop. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't like. I I want to to adopt. To have all the all the dogs, all the cats, all the. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice accesorios? Accessory, accessory. Accessories. Accessories. Accessories for, for my for my pets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know because of my dog. <laughs> And it's sleeping again. <laughs> Accessory. Mine too. Accessory pets. For my pets. And play. Well, second magic. No. No sé cómo se podría, no sé cómo se podría decir en un lugar donde se recibe clases. Y he de study study for a degree. Mm -hmm. Or when you take classes, when you receive classes. You receive classes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You study, you go to learn. 
Washington. This is a university. Mm -hmm. Study for a degree, for a master degree, for a bachelor degree. <laughs> True. Okay. Second imagine. Yes. Let's okay. go. Well, um, battery, battery, bakery, bakery. Ba mm -hmm. baker, barber shop, bookstore, bus station, cafeteria. Six, clinic, mm -hmm. clinic, department store, draw store, hair salon, hair salon, e hair club. Uh, eleven. Otro. Ah, también. Este, fan. Fan. Eso sería uh -huh. divertirse. Have fun. Sí. have fun. Yes. Have fun. Yes. A place where you have fun. Y wow. columpiarse. <laughs> A swing. 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 Mm -hmm. What the children like to swing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two star. My uh, favorite place. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, como sería? I have a problem with my. Choose. With, uh -huh, choose. <laughs> uh -huh, you can buy shoes. You can get shoes. I buy shoes. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería two star. Yeah, buy shoes. People buy shoes. You can buy shoes. People buy shoes. I mean, a store. A brewed store. Brewed store. A hair salon. Hair salon. <laughs> Sí. Bueno, vamos por la. Permitan, permitan. Nos quedamos en la once. Sí, once. Sí, bien. Vamos a ver, espérame. En la once vamos. En Mónica. Sería la segunda imagen, Mónica. Sí, es que hemos visto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Este es Hotel. 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 Uh -huh. Bien. La siguiente. Laudroma. 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 Lai Droma. Droma. Lai Droma. 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 Eh, school. 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 Vamos a ver la otra. Train station. Train station. 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 Video store. Video store. Uh -huh. Bien. Vámonos entonces al primer cuadrito. Okay. Al otro, el primero. Uh -huh. <coughs> Bien. Comenzamos. Uno es airport. 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 Baseball Stadium. Baseball Stadium. Baseball Stadium. Baseball Stadium. Stadium. Bien. La otra palabra es de concert halls. Halls. Concert halls. Sí. Courthouse. 
Fourth house. Fourth house. Mm -hmm. Flower shop. Flower shop. Flower shop. Hardware store. Hardware store. Mm -hmm. Hardware store. Ice cream. Ice cream shop. Yeah. Ice, Ice cream, cream shop. shop. Mm -hmm. uh, motel. motel Motel Museum Perdón esa palabra Museum No sé si me estoy equivocando yo Museum 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 Museum, Museum. Vamos en la diapa vamos Berta uh -huh. Parking garage. Parking garage. Did you finish practicing all the vocabulary? Yes, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot of vocabulary, I know, it's true. Okay, nice. Some examples? Let's see. A museum. A uh, question. Yes, tell oh, me. Activity. Tell me. To learn about history. Ah, to learn about history. Right, in a museum you can learn about history. In a stadium. 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 Uh -huh. What can you do in a stadium? I play, see the play. team play. You can see the games, right? The match. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tennis. The soccer. Game. Baseball. Right. At a barber shop. Uh, good mustache, <laughs> face uh, for oh, women yeah. or men. Uh -huh. Men, usually, right? Because women go to the hair salon mm -hmm. to get a haircut, to get a straight, to get massage, to get. Face. I go a barber shop. <laughs> you go to barber shops? Yeah. All okay, right, fine. All right, what else? To a bakery. Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. I can buy a cake and yes, coffee. Yes, coffee, desserts, right? Dessert. Yes. What else? Any other place? Uh -huh. To a drugstore. Oh, yeah, drop. <laughs> to buy, buy. drugs. <laughs> I buy. I said that. Buy, but you know, people, people take it profane. literal. But <laughs> drugs, recuerden que las medicinas son drugs. Medicine. Ah, marihuana. No, no marihuana. You buy the medicine. Marihuana. It's marihuana. Yes, it's effective. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Some people recommend it. <laughs> okay. No, you buy medicine. Okay. I buy medicine. Yes, please don't confuse. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. No good ideas, right? Let's see. At the airport. At the airport. Um... Take the ticket for go. Yes, <laughs> to go away. <laughs> okay. Anyway. And Get you can tickets. buy souvenirs. You can buy souvenirs, exactly. I wait the family. Wait for I family to arrive. I right? wait for my flight <laughs> for vacation. All right. Take a flight <laughs> to go on vacation. <laughs> and go to right. travel on the flight. <laughs> go to travel. That's right. Okay, because of the time, we're just going to check the attendance the third time. Norma, Celia, Claudia, Concepcion, Elsie, Ever, no, Ever's not here. Iris, 
Joanna, Juan Ramón. Joanna, no le hemos escuchado. We haven't listened to you. Juan Ramón. Judith, Carla. Lizeth, yes. Lizeth, no, right? Amariles. Marcela, Mariana, Marina, Mirna, Monica, Tania, and Raquel. Yes, the rest we have. Okay, great. Oh my God, ¿a quién le tocaba quedarse este día? I forgot. Yesterday se quedó Mariana. So, Jancy ya se había quedado un día antes. Mirna. Are you ready? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Good. I'm That's ready. the attitude. Ya ven, es el actitud. <laughs> Powerful. Okay, Wait, and the no, rest? Please. Good night. 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 Bye bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Hmm. Miss me. Hello. Ah, how are you? <laughs> Qué guapa anda ahora, Miss. So Nada. cute. Qué guapa anda. Thank you. Ah, did you have a party? No, no, not the work. <laughs> Just from work. Nice. Questions. ¿Tiene alguna question? ¿Algo que quiere que le ayude? Uh, quizás solo como... Eh, ¿cómo, a ¿Cómo pronunciar algunos tips o algo para, para tener una mejor pronunciación? Vale, es uh, ahora en día es como un poco más fácil. ¿sí? Puedo usar la herramienta de Google y mm. cuando se pone la palabra tiene como una bocinita. Una bocinita. Ajá, mm -hmm. y la puede escuchar varias veces. Obviamente la palabra la tiene que poner de una vez en inglés, ¿verdad? Vale, mm -hmm. déjenme ver. Let's make an example. ¿Cuál palabra quisiera? Por ejemplo, laundromat. Que creo que le estaba dando problema. Laundromat. Aquí esa. No, no sabía cómo pronunciar. Ok. Laundromat. Laundromat, laundromat, laundromat. Acá. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. No, está pidiendo updates. Pronunciation. Ajá. Entonces usted puede acabar. No sé si se va a lograr ver, pero déjenme ver. Because all background no se mira. Bueno, por ahí está. Ojalá que se escuche. Wait. Laundromat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Laundromat. Y hay la veces que sea necesario. Sobre todo yo recomiendo que escriban la palabra y a la parte, perdón, a la par la palabra pronunciation. Porque así le da hasta cómo tiene como que ubicar los, los labios a la hora de, de articular. La mm. Después de la palabra poner pronunciar. Ajá, exacto. La palabra pronunciation. Porque igual, si quisiera saber en realidad qué significa, podría poner la palabra meaning or definition. Meaning. Or definition. Cualquiera de las dos. Y lo que va a obtener es como una explicación de lo que significa la palabra, si ese fuera el caso. Pero para pronunciation, escribe la palabra pronunciation y cabal ahí está. Como el diagrama. Por mi background es un poquito difícil. Pero... No se logra. No, <risa> Sí. Después voy a, voy a, voy a ver. Sí, y sí ahí lo verifico. Explica, uh -huh. Nos explicaba también sobre, porque ahorita teníamos como la duda de, de, del aeropuerto, de que ver, ir a ver, o pues se dijo algo la vez pasada de eso. Ajá, del la, airport. No, como, como quedarse viendo fijo o ver algo ah, pasado. Ah, sí, watch and look. Ah, watch es... Eh, watch, watch es, ese sí es ver, ver por tiempo prolongado. Ajá, eh, watch, watch TV, TV, watch movie, watch videos. Ajá, y la otra es? Look es como volver a ver algo en específico. l u c -K. Yes, L-O-O-K. Solo L-O-O-K. Ajá, look. Al, el, el. O, 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 sí. Okay. No, sin la sí. 
Only Kate. Ah, sí, look. Sí. Uh -huh. look. Uh -huh. Este es como solo ver. ¿no? Volver a ver uh -huh. algo. Uh -huh. Look at this, look at her, look at me. Ah. Mire para acá, mire para allá, vuelvo a ver a ese caso. Sí, eso. Ah, yeah. <risa> uh -huh. Y sí, que es la habilidad de ver. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Como el, el, el sentido de la vista, por decir algo. Uh -huh. Creo que tenía otra, pero no sé qué le hice la pregunta. Se le fue, se le escapó. <risa> se me escapó y aquí le estaba la jana, te No sé qué la hice. No problems. No problem. Ok. ¿Cuándo se le recuerda que estemos en clase este día? ¿Perdón? Cuando estemos en la clase, si la recuerda y dígame. Ajá. O cuando yo digo questions, este, I have a question. Ya recuerdo. ¿Cómo sería ella? I don't remember. I don't uh, remember. No I recuerdo. Ajá. I don't remember the question. Yes, I don't remember the question. That's right. All right. Nice. Today's class. ¿Qué recuerda de esta clase? Um, lo de... ¿Cómo se llamaban? ¿Cómo se llamaban? ¿Cómo se llamaban? <laughs> <laughs> que necesito llenarme más de, de, de palabritas. Vocabulary. Ah, de vocabulary. Uh -huh. Eh, lo de los lugares, no sé cómo se llama. Places. <risa> ah, lo de los places. Uh -huh. eh, street, avenues, uh -huh. o ubicación. Uh -huh. Location. O location. Uh -huh. Location. Uh -huh. eh, lo del de, uso de on y at. The prepositions. Ah, son prepositions. Prepositions of place. Porque recuérdense que son las mismas palabras, pero también son utilizadas para prepositions of time, cuando decíamos at seven, yes, on Monday, son las mismas palabras pero usadas en diferente contexto. Uh -huh. A veces pueden ser utilizadas como prepositions of time, pero en este, en este contexto o en esta lección las estamos utilizando como prepositions of place. Of place. Uh -huh. Para lugares. Uh -huh. Para ubicar lugares. On Second Avenue. In San Salvador, yes. At the medium, medium. At the meeting room. Medium. At the conference room. At the cafeteria. ¿Cuáles son los lugares como más específicos? Ajá, uh -huh, más uh -huh. específicos. De otro es el lugar el, más grande. Right. El, el, el at era como más específico, pero más pequeño. Uh -huh. Como un área más el, delimitada dentro de algo más grande. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, usted dice, yo estoy en mi trabajo, pero digamos que usted trabaja en todo el Centro Comercial Venecia. Pero usted quiere decir, pero yo estoy en la oficina de tal compañía, at the office, at, at the my office. work. Yes. No estoy uh, ni en el parqueo, ni en el food court, ni en otra área. Yes, I'm at my work. At office. At my office. At my office. Uh -huh. Or at the company. At the work. Uh, y para decir como el segundo nivel. Uh, on the second, second floor. Ahí dices on, ah. porque es como in. In es como ya en todo el área. In the shopping center. In the shopping mall. Pero on the second floor. On the second floor. Eh, también se puede decir level. Algo se está on the second cambiando. level. Sí. Puede ser level. Mm. Solo que level es más como británico, pero sí, más gringos, on the second floor. <ríe> second yes. floor. Uh -huh. Y como uh -huh. distinguir, porque por ejemplo estaba buscando segundo nivel en, en Google, pero me, me salió así, second level. level. Ajá, porque es que el nivel también puede ser para cualquier otra cosa. Ustedes se ponen en el segundo nivel, o en el tercer nivel de un juego, de cualquier otra cosa. Mm. On level three. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá, se puede utilizar entonces diferentes contextos. Diferentes contextos. Así son sinónimos. Entonces. Yes. Uh -huh. And you work only on weekdays. 
from Monday to Friday. Que si trabajo en esos días. Yes. <laughs> Only from Damn. Monday to Friday, no on weekends. Um, Saturday is Sabado, ¿verdad? You work on Saturday. Saturday um, 11. You finish at 11. You finish 11. And then go home. Yes. And how do you go home? ¿Cómo ah. Para transportarse a su casa. Eh, travel, la ba oh, bus or travel? I take the bus. I take the bus. You take the bus on la carretera de oro. Yes. And how, <laughs> ¿cuánto tiempo necesita para llegar a su house? Uh, one hour. Eh, one hour. Pero, eh, con 15 minutes, 50. And 15 minutes. 15 minutes. An hour and 15 minutes. Hmm. That's great. Nice. It's, it's okay. <laughs> no, está muy lejos. <laughs> but it's every day. Se tarda eso todos los días. Todos los días. De eh, y de de in the afternoon. <laughs> so you spend like two hours and a half on the bus. Yes. Oh my God. For el traffic. <clears throat> because of the traffic. Okay. Well, Miss, thank you for staying. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good night. Bye.